look at finite state machine. It's a simple sequence deductor, one, one, zero. You can even try this example. This has inputs, sequence underscore in, clock, reset. There are three inputs and one output. Everything is single bit. And this is how the FSM looks like. There are four major states. Idle, S0, S1, S2. In S2, you are going to get output 1. This is how the transitions are going to be. You can analyze this FSM later. How you can write the source code? Module, sequence deductor, all the ports. All the ports are wired data type. So define the directions, input, output. Here, there are four parameters. I want you to remember this. For any FSM, you have to define parameter. Here, how many states? Four states. So there are four parameters. And then you can define the values. 001, 0010, 0100, 1000. So here, we are trying to use one hot encoding. This is slightly different. Here only one bit is high. It's called one hot encoding. That's why we are using four bits. Otherwise two bits would be enough. Okay, fine. Now let's look at it. There are four states, so four parameters. You have to define two variables, present state and next state. And the width is four bits. Here, the parameter size is 4 bits, so you have to define the variables as 4 bits width. Always at faucet clock. If reset is high, present state must be idle, else present state must be next state. This is called state transition logic or present state logic. If reset is high, present state should be idle. The FSM has to be initialized with idle state, else the present state should get the value of next state. We are using non-blocking because this is sequential logic. This is sequential logic because there is a clock in the sensitivity list. Always at sensitivity list. This is combinational. It's called next state logic, next state decoder. To produce next state, we need two things. One is present state, the other one is input. That's how we are going to define the transition. And then you have to make the default assignment because this is combinational. Case, sample the present state. And for each present state, you define the transition. Here, for idle, for S0, for S1, for S2. We covered all possible states. So basically, in next state decoder, we are defining all the transitions. And the next state decoder logic is going to produce the value of next state based on two things, present state and input so here based on input you can define the transition this is next state decoder logic and there is one more block called output logic so here the output is high only when the present state is s2 this is ternary operator present state is s2 when this is true output should get one else output should get Zero. This is how we define the output logic. This is how we create the FSM. All right. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.